Gonorrhea, chlamydia, syphilis. These aren't just impressive words to play in a game of Scrabble. They're also STIs that anyone can get, especially if you're currently on Love Island. You might even have them and be asymptomatic, but they can cause fertility problems in men by blocking your sperm tubes so that your swimmers can't move from your testicles into the semen to be ejaculated. Tragically, they might never see the outside world or the inside of a sock. Ugh. So to protect yourself from STIs, wear a condom and get regular STI tests so you can treat it quickly. Because the faster you get treatment, the lower the risk of fertility problems in the future and the fewer embarrassing phone calls you have to make to your previous sexual partners. Ooh. Hey, Sarah. No, no, I had a great time. Um, gotta tell you something. Did you know that on average, men who are overweight have lower sperm quality than men at a healthy weight? Ironically, the dad bod makes it harder to become a dad. But there is good news, just losing a few kilos can improve a man's sperm quality. So if you want a baby, start with some baby steps. Research shows that if partners get healthier together, there's a better chance of success. In fact, there's one form of exercise that couples can definitely do together. Just make sure the bloke is on top so he uh, burns more calories. A lot of men don't know that those steroids can make you swole, they can make your balls shrink and stop producing sperm. In fact, it can take up to two years for sperm to return to normal after you stop taking steroids. Hopefully the acne clears up a bit quicker. And it's not just steroids that affect a man's fertility. Cannabis and cocaine also reduce testosterone levels and your sex drive, which makes sense. It's hard to care about sex when you've got the munchies. Or starting a small business with your best friends in a nightclub bathroom. Alcohol is okay in small amounts, but heavy drinking and binge drinking can reduce sperm count and quality, as well as your attractiveness to potential sexual partners. Sorry, what's this video about? Smoking! Oh yeah, thanks Jim Carrey. Did you know that the chemicals in cigarette smoke can damage your sperm? I don't care. Well, you should Jim Carrey. Heavy smokers make fewer sperm than non-smokers, and smoking also damages the DNA in your sperm, which increases the risk of miscarriage and birth defects. The good news is that the effects of smoking on sperm and fertility are reversible, and quitting will increase the chance of conceiving and having a healthy baby. It takes about three months to create sperm, so try to quit at least three months before trying for a baby. But maybe don't wear the nicotine patches to bed. Kind of kills the mood. We've all heard about men in their 80s and 90s fathering children, but this is rare and weird, especially when it's with your stepdaughter, Errol Musk. Look, it's true that men continue to produce sperm throughout life, but blokes under 40 have a better chance of conceiving than older men. And not just because they're more likely to get Tinder matches than grandpa. It's because sperm quality tends to decline with age, which increases the risk of miscarriage and problems for the baby. So if you have a choice between trying sooner or later, it might be worth putting your balls to use now. You know, before they're swinging below your knees. <laughs>